Hello, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Swain, and I'm going to read you a story. The title is How High in the Rainforest, Rainforest Animal Habitats by Monica Davis, illustrated by Romina Marti. Synopsis. Explore the layers of the rainforest biome and the animals that live there, from the dark forest floor to the emergent layer. Welcome to the tropical rainforest. Hidden in South America is the diverse world of the Amazon rainforest. Millions of species call this rainy place home. Step inside. The forest floor is the bottom layer of the rainforest. Here, the sun barely shines through because it's so dark, not much grows here. Hidden in the dirt are recyclers. Centipedes, slugs, beetles, and termites eat dead leaves. Their poop adds nutrients to the soil. All right, so here's the bottom layer of the tropical forest, and here you have all the centipedes and slugs and all the other things that are on the tropical, on the rainforest floor. The forest floor feeds many animals. Meet the giant armadillo. Its claws are built to dig. Armadillos enjoy tasty meals of beetles and other bugs. Wild pigs sniff out bugs and roots. Small rodents find food here too. All right, so here's the armadillo. And behind this tree, you'll see a wild pig. And you have other bugs that these animals like to eat. The next layer is the understory. Here, shadows linger. Only a bit of sunlight peeks through. Plants must sprout wide leaves. This helps them soak up, soak up skinny rays of sun. All right, so we're up a little higher in the rainforest. And let's find out what animals live here in this part. Red-eyed tree frogs may catch your eye. Their bright eyes surprise their enemies. They live here in the shadows. The humid air keeps the frog's skin moist. The shadows are also perfect for hunters. Jaguars crouch on tree branches, then pounce. They leap on their prey on the forest floor. All right, here's your jaguar. And then here's the red-eyed frog. And of course, you have snakes and bats and other animals on this part. Higher up is the roof of the rainforest. Here, tree branches weave together. They form a thick covering called the canopy. The canopy is about as high as a 10-story building. All right, those are like the buildings in downtown LA. On a clear day, we could actually see parts of that from the school. Sloths curl up in the treetops. Up here, they chew on a feast of leaves. When they sleep, their long claws hold them steady. All right, here's a sloth. This is a very interesting animal, and Miss Russert is going to give you more information about this animal this week. Looking forward to that. And here's the spider monkey and a toucan. Animals and plants that live in the canopy are adapted for this high, wet layer. Leaves are shaped so rain drips off quickly. Animals that live this high can all fly, leap, or swing. Toucan soar past. Spider monkey swing from tree to tree looking for fruit. Okay, again, again you have the spider monkeys and a toucan. And here's a iguana. So they could climb up the tree. The monkeys could swing from tree to tree. And of course, a toucan is a bird, so it can what, boys and girls? Correct, it can fly. Look up, way up. At the tip top of the rainforest is the emergent layer. Here, the trees can stretch up to 200 feet. That's 60 meters tall. It is hot because these trees get full sun. Up top, every day is different. Some days the rain crash down. There are also many dry days. 
These tall trees have small, waxy leaves. This helps them retain water when it's dry. To live this high, an animal must be nimble. Squirrel monkeys are light on their feet. They can run along branches. The harpy eagle perches up here. It can be hard for this bird to spot its prey. The treetops are too thick. Instead, it uses a sharp hearing. Instead, it uses a sharp hearing. It preys on sloths and other mammals. All right, here's your squirrel monkeys. So they run along the thin branches where the spider monkeys more swing from tree to tree. And here's your harpy eagle. You never know which animals you will meet in this wet world. Macaws soar up high. Iguanas hide in the trees. Capybaras roam, in the, for roam the forest floor. So many species live in this tall green oasis. All right, I haven't heard of this animal before. Let's check it Capybara. out. Capybara. Capybara. A noun, a tailless South American rodent, often exceeding four feet in length that is often found in or near water. All right, so this is a capybara right here. Huh, interesting. And here's the macaw. It's a pretty colorful bird. It's different from a parrot because it has a smaller beak. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, a toucan has a real large beak where the macaw has a smaller beak. All right, and here's the layers of the rainforest. Again, you have the forest floor, which includes insects and the giant armadillo. You have the understory layer, which houses the jaguar and the red-eyed tree frog. The canopy layer, you can find the toucan and the sloth. And the emergent layer, which is as high as you could go, top of the trees, you'll find the squirrel monkey and the harp, harpy eagle. And here's the glossary that defines canopy, the second highest layer of the rainforest where trees grow thick, diverse, made up of things that are different from each other. Emergent layer is the highest layer of the rainforest made of the tallest trees. Forest floor is the ground layer of the rainforest, humid, having a lot of moisture in the air. Nutrient, a substance that plants, animals, and people need to live and grow. Oasis, a pleasant place that is sounded by something unpleasant. Retain, to continue to hold something such as heat or moisture as time passes. And finally, understory, the second lowest layer of the rainforest made of short shrubs. All right, and if you want more information on the rainforest and its habitats, its inhabitants, you can um, read more books about it and find websites where you get more information. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this story. What I would like for you to do is to draw the layers of a rainforest and label it please. I want you to include all layers, the floor, the forest floor, the understory layer, canopy layer, and the emergent layer. And please draw the animals that belong on those levels. All right, and when you're done, upload it onto Seesaw. All right, boys and girls, see you next time. Bye-bye.